This is your teacher, Mr. Robert Mendoza. And in this opportunity, I will explain how to do the spelling exercises in the book Spelling What, all right? So let me explain first the pages that we are going to work. From page 19, as you can see here, okay? From page 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and the last page, 24, from 19 to 24. Let me show you the first example in page 19, okay? What are we going to learn in this lesson? Well, we will continue learning about words with long A, okay? So remember in the previous video, I already explained how to pronounce these words. So right now I will just tell you what you have to do. So the first thing you do is to read safe places in the wild, all right? This is the, um, the title of the reading text. And you will need to put all the 20 words that we are studying today in the correct place of the story. So for example, Okay, let's read the first part. It says, how would you like to have a coyote for a next door neighbor? This is a question, you see? So the first word I'm using here is neighbor. Okay, how do you spell neighbor? N-E-I-G-H-B-O-U-R, neighbor, right? So um, if you are using the digital book, remember that with this box here, Okay, in Eagles School platform, you can add text. So I will do a second example for you. Would you be, mm? so let's read all. How would you like to have a coyote for a next door neighbor? Would you be, mm? So here, okay, we will complete with another word. Yes? Imagine that you have a coyote as a neighbor, an animal, would you be afraid? As you can see, this is the other word, okay? Also, you can move it and put it in the right place. Would you be afraid to have a coyote as a neighbor? So kids, I already explained all the meanings in the previous video. The only thing you will do is continue reading, okay? Look, you have 20 spaces, okay? Look, in number 10, I did another one for you. Look at these beautiful animals. Visitors do not have to wait long to see wildlife at refuge, as a, at a refuge, right? So look, this is refuge, yes, just one in. So I did number 10 for you. The word is wait, yes? So you continue reading and you will finish in page 21. This is a reading text about animals, right? Now, in page, in the next page, 22, as you can see here, we have this proof reading. What would you do? You need to find mistakes, okay? And you circle the spelling mistakes. Then you need to find capitalization mistake and you put a line or three lines. And then one word that is, okay, repeated and you take out that word. Let me show you examples. So visit Big Mountain Park. Are you planning to visit to our state? Look, this word here, state, is incorrect. Okay, why is it incorrect? Because remember in page 19, look how we write a state. It is S-T-A-T-E. So we can see that this word here is incorrect. And I circle, okay? Or I can just use this circle here. Okay, you can circle like that, all right? Now I continue reading. I will show you a capitalization mistake. For example, here, look. Be sure to, to stop at Big Mountain Park. Look. There is repetition here, two, two. So I will use this symbol here to cross out one, okay? And 
I will show you a mistake of capital letter. Look, capitalized mistake here. Remember that after period, look, this word C should have capital letter. So you will continue reading and you use these proof reading marks, these symbols like I am showing you to find more here, okay? As many mistakes as you can, that's it. Now, let me show you the next example. Here in this example, you have some words from the list. Look, they are not completed. And I did number one for you. This is chase, right? What about this? What word is it? Look, A-W-A-K. What word do you think it is? You can go back to page 19 and look for it. Oh, look, we found it. Look, I think it's this one, right? Look, awake, you see? So. From this list, you need to discover what word is this and you write it correctly, okay? With the correct spelling. How do you spell away, kids? Let's practice. A W A K E. Awake. Yes, you can be sleepy or you can be awake. Yes, on a sleeping clothes. Be awake in here. Now that's it. So you continue, okay? checking and writing the correct spelling of each word this is page 23 now in the last page okay you have some challenge words for example acquaint betray light wave and rain what is acquaint acquaint is to give information okay give information to someone about something betray is um let's say let's say this is not to be honest okay it's like not honest is to lie about something lie wave is for example um right now i am i am wearing a lie wave uh, shirt so lie wave is the opposite of thick okay you can use lie wave clothes especially in summer when it's very hot you say oh i'm wearing lie wave clothes what about rain rain is what kings and queens do for example the king reigned for 20 years. Yes, reign. Now, what you will do is use these four words, okay, and write a sentence. You can write them here or you can write them in your English notebook. For example, look, I will write with a quaint, and this is my sentence, okay? I acquaint kids with the, all, with the world of science. This means, remember, a quaint is to give information. I give information to the kids about science and then i have another example with betray remember betray is to lie okay and it says here the soldiers never betray their country the soldiers never lie they are very loyal right so betray is the opposite of loyal now these are two examples okay now the only thing you need to do is to look for the meaning of the word rain and live wave and write two more examples, okay? I help you with two. Now you write two more examples. Well, remember that you need to send me a photo of all these pages already finished in the Moodle. And also, okay, in the production activity, let me tell you that we will be uh, having a spelling bee practice, okay? About these 20 words. So. You practice the words, you practice the spelling, and in the Zoom session, we will be practicing and we will make a spelling bee practice there, okay? So, that's all for today. Remember to practice these words and see you in class. Bye!